Welcome back to the channel. Um, I know a lot of people have been commenting about how the grill looks horrible and I don't disagree. It does look horrible. So today we're going to be fixing that with the next thing that I unboxed. All right. So this is going to be the front gear, uh, the front grill by Spec D Tuning. Um, it is Mugen inspired. The only reason why I couldn't get a real Mugen uh, grill is because they don't make one for this car. They only make one for the sedan. I don't know if that fits. Um, if it fits the, the coupe, if you do some kind of like DIY stuff, but honestly, I wanted to fix up the grill as soon as possible, and this was a really cheap alternative because it was only 70 bucks, and I think it looks really good because it does the it blacks out the um, the grill. So box within a box, getting used to that with all these unboxings we're doing. Do that. One more. Alright, let's look at it. This is me look this looking good already boys. So here it is, all blacked out. It's like gloss. Oh shoot. I can't dig it. It's getting stuck. Hold on. Shoot boys, hold on. Alright, here it is. So here's the grill. It's supposed to obviously be right here. It's gonna look really good. Excuse that the car is really dirty, but this is what the grill is gonna be like. And uh, hopefully the install is easy, but this is the unboxing. Just stay tuned for the installation. And um, this is gonna look a lot better. This is one of the first cosmetic mods that I'm doing for the Accord, and I'm looking forward to it. All right, so it's the next day. Uh, it's gonna be the install day, but basically I'm gonna have to remove a bunch of plastic clips. I believe it's gonna be this one. Um, and the ones in here, there are some missing. I think this is broken, but, um, there's going to be about eight plastic clips according to the video that, um, spec D tuning made. So, uh, there's about eight clips that you have to be removed on the top so that you could take off the plastic molding. And then you're going to have to go to the side and take off, um, this screw right here so that you can remove the bumper. Um, and then underneath, there's a bunch of plastic clips that have to be removed as well. Uh, I don't really have any with the film, so I'm going to have to prop this down on a chair. I did a horrible job of filming that part because I didn't even press record, but the plastic sh uh, molding part is off, so you can see it's exposed right here. Uh, that was pretty easy. It only took about five minutes. That's uh, good, but now we have to start on the side. Alright, so as you can tell, I got the freaking front bumper off, or the, yeah, the basically the full front bumper off, so now I gotta fix this dusty thing. I'm gonna try my best to get this in as soon as possible. This is a demon bolt, or a demon little, what do you call those? Uh, forgot. <laughs> ah, shoot, anyways, that thing was stopping us from taking off the grill, but it should come out now. Try to push it out, don't break it, because if it's stuck on something, don't force it. Okay. Try to preserve it because I want to use it again. Just, uh, or I might want to use it again. I don't know. Yeah. You sure that's it? Or is something else hindering it? Because they came out flawlessly on the other side, and it should be a mirror of it. Oh, wait, that's it. Do it fully. Oh, there we go, buddy. All right, wait, 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 wait. Hold that up. 
All right, so we're getting the new grill in. Hopefully, it's easier to put on than to take off because that thing was hell. Ooh, it looks clean, boys. It looks real clean, Calvin. This looks crazy. All right, so this one is secured in basically in the same spots. Uh, it doesn't have the screw in parts like the OEM bolt, which is good, or OEM, OEM bolt, OEM grill, which is good because those were hell, but we gotta make sure this one's secure because uh, I like this grill better and I don't want it to fly off. So here's the old grill, uh, plasti dip uh, peeling off and everything, and then here's the new grill. I personally really like it. I do think it makes the front end really aggressive, but that means I'm gonna have to make the front end a little bit more aggressive so it matches, but it looks really good. The install <laughs> took forever. I expected it to be like an hour, but it ended up being like two and a half hours, but you know how car installations go, but it looks really good. Let's look at it. Uh, there's obviously some dust marks and handprints because of, you know, because of us, we were uh, touching it a lot and stuff like that. But um, it looks really good. I'm glad to have put it on before um, before the week started. And hopefully everyone's having a good Labor Day. And uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next upload.